The boy in the back of the car on this day was all upset, because they had moved again. The boy had lost count of the number of times he had moved, how many times he had moved with his parents, facing the unfamiliar environment. The boy was very frightened, but his parents were very happy. They sent the boy to bed early, then the two parents quietly went to the refrigerator. They enjoyed a delicious late night snack. The next day in art class, the teacher asked for a family portrait. All the other children drew a regular picture. A happy family, but the boy's picture was horrible. The whole picture was covered with brilliant red lines. The teacher felt that the boy had a psychological problem. So I called the boy's mom to school. She asked the boy if there was something wrong with him. The mom was evasive and didn't want to talk about it. She said the boy didn't like meat. His father was doing research in a lab. Whenever the boy had time, he would go to the lab to play. In order to get more experimental data, the boss made many corpses for his father. That day, there was a lot of meat in the house. Mom and dad never went to the supermarket to buy meat. But there was meat in the house every day. That day he went through the barbed wire fence to the lab. He found a pillar to hide behind. Dad sneaked in. He came to a corpse. He looked around. After looking around, no one was there. He turned on the light in front of the body. The boy took the opportunity to get into the bed. Dad took out a sack. He took out a scalpel. He cut into the body. He smiled with satisfaction. In the middle of the operation, his arm accidentally dropped the scissors. The boy quickly cut up the scissors. The father realized that the scissors were gone. At dinner time, when the boy saw the meat, he still had no appetite, because he had already guessed what was going on. The boy trembled with fear. He shook out the scissors in his pocket. When his father saw the familiar scissors, he asked him where he found them. The boy said he found them on the lawn in the yard. Obviously, the boy wasn't telling the truth. The father could guess what had happened, so he started his horrible story again. And mom put on her smile. After telling the story, dad stuck the scissors right into the meat. He forced the boy to eat the meat. The boy lied that he didn't feel well. He got up and left his seat. It wasn't long before the boy woke up from his seat. The tied boy woke up from the bench. This time the father told the truth. Their family is an ancient cannibalistic tribe. As long as the boy was willing to eat a bite of meat, dad would forgive the night's events. Dad thoughtfully cut a small piece of meat. He's going to feed it to the boy himself. It was too late. The boy quickly grabbed the knife from the plate. He cried and plunged the knife into his father's chest. The father angrily picked up the boy. He was going to make it into tomorrow's meal. Since you're so disobedient, I'll make another one with your mom. With that, he took the boy to the basement. Then he came to the door of the basement, but he accidentally fell down the stairs. He stumbled and tried to grab the boy, but accidentally knocked over the wine rack. At that moment, a fire accidentally started in the room. Before the whole house exploded, the boy managed to get out of the room. His mom and dad were burned to a crisp. With nowhere else to go, the boy went to his grandparents' house. At night, just as the boy lay down on his bed, grandma brought him an extra-large meatloaf. Inside was a huge portion of sliced meat.